So in the Fortos dungeon, there's these books that you can uh, fill with drops from the mobs in the dungeon itself. And I got all the four pages for each book from uh, Seracnus. And uh, you can actually turn them in for XP. Holy shit, there you go. That's sick. The Lamp of Knowledge. So I'm going to put this on Herbler because I'm rushing that 78. And yeah, that should give me 68. That's awesome. Only need about, yeah, a little bit less than a mil XP. So I'm going to check my bank and see how much XP I got. Okay. So guys, I just did the math. All these herbs, I can turn into potions. And I can get about 700,000 experience. That's crazy because I need only about 1 million. So that means I only need 300,000 more XP. And, and I'm done. I have 70 herb bank. That's actually crazy, man. We are zooming, dude. Look at the points. The first ever raid where I uh, reached pretty much the max points. 31,000 points for a white light, but it's okay. Because goddamn, it's nice. It is nice to get max points again. Oh, Dark Relic. I love it. And that's going to give me 74 prayer. That means I can uh, use rigor if I can get it. That's nice. I think it will be better to put on prayer for now. Oh shit, I just hit 98 hit points. Hell yeah, dude. Oh shit, 94 strength off of uh, Hill Giants. We're currently rushing some Slayer tasks for the 50th streak for the Rune Pouch, so... No, are you kidding me, bro? Uh, I can make everything but the Mithril Boots. Uh, I should... I should probably just try and get this Mithril Boots pin. Seriously. Alright, so for my 50th task, I'm gonna go and get myself a Jelly task. Oh, Mithril Boots! That was so fast! Easy, boys. Alright, man, if I'm correct, this should get me enough points for the Rune Pouch. Oh yeah, it did. Easily. 50 tasks completed, 918 points. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Feels amazing to actually complete a step that you couldn't for the longest time. Alright, here we go, boys. Alright, let's go in the reward section here. Room pouch. Yes, please. I want a room pouch. Ah, sick. Still got points left, too. Damn, I'm... Oh, first kill of Abyssal Demon Task. I got a superior. Holy shit. Holy shit, we're, we're kicking ass. It's dead. What do we get? Oh, what the f***? Oh, I got in view heart. What? <laughs> okay, excuse me. Uh, what'd I do with this? Exactly. I'm so confused. Tell the guy you got the heart. I actually just did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, look, look, I'm gonna show him, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna laugh his ass off. <laughs> oh, wait, that's a task completed? Wait, let me see his reaction, bro. <laughs> All right, so I just finished my first abyssal demon task. Yeah, man, we got we got a lot lot more than expected. I gotta say, we'll try again tomorrow though. Alrighty, this is gonna be really interesting. I have renewed hope because we just found out, or I just found out that this beautiful cudgel is more than just a crush weapon. Look at that stab list. It's actually got stab, so that means there's a stab style. Right there, dude. So I should be able to do some pretty good work on the fossil crystals. That was like my biggest concern. It's either that or rune pig, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be way better than a rune pig. Holy shit, boys, we're working it! <laughs> oh my god, the casual is so good. I think fossil is pretty viable, but it works. It definitely worked, man. I have five brews. It would have been four brews without the rune pouch. So yeah, man, having that extra brew is quite nice man i gotta say all right so let me show you guys my latest concoction of a setup here so uh the biggest change by far is the room pouch of course and uh this has given me some interesting ideas so uh, i do have some blood rune saved up from you know slayer and stuff so i got i got a bunch 5k and what that means is i can use fire wave too and also i can use water wave water wave for the occasional times i get trapped in the flame wall but Fire Wave is the same damage as a Slayer Dart with my setup. And on top of that, I can also use it at Ice Demon. I'm going to go and test out Ice Demon and see if it's better than my MSB. So the Fire Wave with this setup isn't that bad. Although it wasn't that much faster than MSB, I felt 
that it was of a very similar speed. You splash a lot with this setup, but it does hit those occasional 20s, which absolutely dents the boss. I would say this method definitely gets my seal of approval. Holy crap, this is madness though. At least the animation is way cooler. Ah, uh, no, yes. <laughs> okay, well, yes. We've reached the 30 KC, so there's that. Oh, diamonds and gold. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. It is time for me to unveil all the herbs that I need to get the 78 herbler for the highest level raids potions outside of uploads. So, here it is. Look at these bad boys. The Gorms, the Tarmans, the Harlanders, the Ranars, the Erits, the Aventos, the Quorms, the Cadentines, some Snapdragons, and some Lantidimes. All of this will total enough experience to get to 78. Getting the secondaries for most of these potions was actually pretty easy. Most of it just comes from farming guild. If you do a lot of contracts, which I recommend, you get a bunch of seeds for the secondaries. So uh, little more seeds for super strengths, slave grass for prayer potions, and fishing potions with aventos. Uh, we got potato cactus for magic potions, uh, white berries for super defense. Uh, as for the other stuff, uh, I have news I got from the store. Red spire from Seragnus, and you can also just pick them up in the temple uh, right at the entrance as well so all right guys we have finally reached our destination of 78 herbler ceramic brews strong buchu leaf potions beautiful 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 tomorrow's raids are gonna be some of the finest raids all right guys let me show you a temporary setup that i'm gonna use with the imbue heart so uh it's pretty much the same Except uh, I replaced the shark with imbue heart. So uh, I'm not really going to be bringing this too much. I just want to show you guys, you know, just how useful I can get with it. Just because overloads are something that I use predominantly throughout the rating. So overloads are just way better than imbue heart. But um, my idea is before I get my hands on, you know, the overloads, there will be a few raids where in the beginning, uh, let's say I get ice demon early or something. Or like agility room early. Then I can uh, make use of the imbue hearts uh, magic boost for the accuracy and for the defensive abilities. Alright, so first use of the imbue heart before overloads is uh, just to activate it and help me tank the skeletons. Alright, so uh, the second use is imbue heart with fire wave. So if I do happen to have fire wave, I can actually just uh, do this. So uh, if I don't have overloads on me before ice demon, then yeah. And the final useful room. Before overloads is uh, at the Deathly Majors. There'll be uh, some good magic resistance and help me tank some of these hits. Damn, look at these Xerix A pluses. Oh, beautiful, man. 24 HP extra per potion, man. And same with the Revites. I don't know how much more it is with the Revite Plus, but. Oh my god, I still have so much food. I love it. Oh my goodness. Yo, I just finished uh, the second phase and oh my god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, this is still my best time though, so far. Uh no purple though, but that's alright. Still finished with some supplies left, even though this raid was actually crazy eights. This almost actually insanely eights. Oh shit, 92 magic. Let's go halfway to 99. Nice, 86 Slayer. I guess in route to 95 Slayer. That's pretty much the peak Slayer goal. There's nothing else past that. So yeah, man, nine more levels to go. That's kind of like what Seratinus feels like. Oh shit, boys, 99 hit points. Oh my god. That shit crept up on me so fast. Oh, episode whip, holy shit. That was fast, oh man. Let's go. It's like 300 kills for uh, for the whip, boys. Let's freaking go. Alright, 81 strength and the main style crush of 78. What do we have? What? 93? Seriously? Seriously? Wow, and slash 88. Jeez. No way, man. I thought the Kudjo was wasn't that much worse, but it's like... Man, 
Man, the whip is an easy three damage higher than the the cudgel. Wow. Wowzers, man, that's crazy. Holy shit. Using this at Olmham is is gonna be disgusting. But yo, the cudgel is not getting completely uh you know defunct. No, no, don't you worry, man. It's still amazing at Tecton. It's still really good at uh, Fossa. So it's gonna be a while though. But in the process, I hope to get some dragon stones from the uh, shamans. They dropped them at a 1 in 1600 rate, so if I can get 2 Dragon Stones uh, on the way to 95 Slayer, I think that would be great. And of course, you know, maybe get the Warhammer, maybe. It's not a real commitment, but if we get lucky, we can. Nani? Oh, what the f***? I just got the Warhammer, bro. What the f***? Yo, what the f***? What the f***? Seriously? I just got the Warhammer, bro? I just got a Warhammer? What? Uh, okay, like, I swear that was a demon on the ground for a second there. But, um, yeah, I just got a freaking Warhammer on my first ever Shaman Taz. Uh, okay. No purples at rates? Doesn't matter. I just got a Warhammer. <laughs> I'm gonna be more hurt that in six weeks this thing's gonna get deleted. Equip a Warhammer or Taz? Yeah, I believe so. Hey, nice. I just got a Taz completed for this as well. Alright, so the setup got changed massively once again. But yeah, man, we got the whip as the main hand, and uh, we have the warhammer for our spat weapon now. We don't have to bring a regular hammer anymore, because this counts as a hammer itself. Alright, this layout's got Fispila, but uh... Yeah, we're, we're gonna try it out, just because I can't find even a remotely decent raid right now. It's been like such a long time looking for a raid, so let's just try and see if we can get, get this Vespila done. Freaking YOLO, man. Oh shit, I just landed the Warhammer. This thing's pretty much done, though. Yep, this guy is pretty much dead. Nice, we got it down to 20% on the first round. Should be able to kill it. There we go. Alright, so uh, Rune Crossbow is definitely pretty viable uh, with the redemption at this point. So, yeah, I probably shouldn't really hold back on doing Fispilas. I, I think it'll be uh, pretty worthwhile. Alright, man, let's go ahead and uh, absolutely destroy Ohm. Because our gear is, uh, well, at least on the main side, our gear is absolutely ridiculous. So, nope, I missed the spec. Got one. Alright, this hand's pretty much done. Ah, that hurts. 38. I definitely have never hit that before, that's for sure. We basically used it. Ow. Whoa, look at these chain of hits. God damn. So, this one took us about... 19 minutes? Yeah, yeah, low 19s. Not bad. Okay, this is a new PB. White light again, but it's all good with the whip. Our times have gone down so freaking much. That was really clean. Honest, that was very clean. What was that? Like another. Okay, that one took 21 minutes. Yeah, very nice. 